All right, guys. And what is it? A couple videos ago, we talked about big changes coming. Um, obviously, we were at the Tampa RV show. We'll talk about that later. But today, we are going to do a little bit of changing, rearranging, and who knows what in this RV. This back couch is going to be removed today. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not as hard as you think, but it's kind of nice because it's going to relieve about 100 pounds. I don't know how heavy this thing is. So stay tuned. We're breaking this couch out of here. This is a tri-fold twin bed sofa. Basically, it folds out and makes a twin bed that is super uncomfortable. But with the changes we got coming up here, we're going to start a new business. And I need this back space. We're going to take this out. We're going to go to our lot in Silver Springs. We're going to put it in our shed. We're going to show you what's going to happen in this space. So here we go. We're removing a couch. All right, so before I fully remove it, I want to show you how to remove this. So basically, there's a couch there with a frame, and you can see the bed frame all up in here. It's very easy. Whoever made this, I don't know what company, but there's just one of these pins, and it fits on here at this pivot point, at this back pivot point. So basically, you pull these four pins, and um, yeah, you have different sections. So this top part will be a section, that bottom part will be a section, and then you have the couch. And once you remove the bed part, the couch is gonna be super light. Gonna need some pliers to pull these out. You're tuned to the station that plays the best music in town. Easy one. So this bolt on the couch was able to slide in and out. I don't think this one's going to be able to do that. So, but it looks like this tab is bent. So we'll see how easy that'll be to come out. All right. So with the pin being like this on both way, on both ways like this, as soon as I pull the, uh, yeah, I know, I'm not, I had to change from quiet, Renee. Let's cut that part out. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it this way. I don't have no other way to do it. So <laughs> when the pin is in the hole, uh, screw it. As soon as I pull, as soon as I pull out, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> it's just not budging how about that let me show you what i mean so basically so that's pushed all the way to the right but over here on the left side i can't go any further then i go this way and i can't go there and the pin the bolt so to speak doesn't move so i don't know how i'm gonna do that all right, as always, Renee has the wisdom. She said, at least we took the heavy part out. We can carry it from here. And since it's not pulling out, let's just leave it in. And in true Renee fashion, she wants to weigh it. And I like this because then we'll show you how much this couch weighs. Now, granted, it's gonna be piece by piece, but we can do the math. Whoa. All right, so we're roughly at about 36 pounds just for this part. And we're gonna see if we can weigh this. I don't know how that's gonna happen. All right, Renee just said each cushion is roughly about six pounds, uh, roughly. So we had what, 36 and now 12? Holy cow, we'll do the math later. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this. It's going to be a very rough estimate, guys. So roughly about 62, 63 pounds. We'll call it 63. So now we're at 63, 12, 
And what was the first part again? 36. 36. So 36, 12, 63. So you add those numbers up, you're looking at roughly about 111 pounds. So now, what we're going to add back up here, maybe about the same weight, um, roughly about the same weight, maybe a little, a few pounds heavier, but... Heavier? No, less. Less. No, it's not going to be less. It'll we'll probably be about the same uh, weight. And we're actually going to weigh it as soon as we put it... Hey, what's going on? So we're actually going to weigh it uh, when we put what we're going to put back here and um, we'll see the difference. It stopped. All right, now we got it out. As you can see, I almost fell on my booty because the uh, the other foot that we didn't get that we didn't take off got stuck. And as soon as I pushed it, Renee was still pushing. So as soon as I did that, we had the push pull effect. So I got to change battery, and we're gonna put it on the truck. Keep pushing, push, push, push. I haven't thought about that part yet. That's why it needs to go in the bed. I only do so much, okay? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. I got a solution. So you can see the arm. I think what I'm gonna do is tilt it, bring it underneath the bar and bring it up so the arm will now be inside. And that way I can use those triangle thingies to strap it down. Let's see if this works. doing what up we got this this is not that hard you just gotta th somewhat think a little bit so now I can tie from this anchor to the other anchor and we have downforce and the only thing all the rest of the stuff can go in the cab so that's good I like this I like this we're making progress uh, I think I'm gonna get one more something to put from here around here to the other side. Two days later, actually one day later, finally figured out the layout. We got a desk from Target and then a wire cabinet from Target and it fits with a few inches to spare over here. So from inside that end table to the inside of that end table is six foot. Obviously it's eight foot across. Um, I've seen some other people put um, an eight foot sheet of plywood from end to end and then cut it back from this length to that length which is just shy of three feet because the back to the front of the slide is three foot and you don't want to have it any pretty close. You want to keep some buffer room there and then build some legs and whatnot. All in all, this is going to work and I'm going to put one of our office chair or one of our table chairs up here for now until we figure out. And again, this is kind of permanent temporary until bigger things come. 
All right, so I forgot to film an ending to this video because I didn't know what was going to happen and what was going on with the timeline. As you can see, I got everything going on here, and this is all going to be part of our announcement coming soon on what we're going to do to help the YouTube community. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because I promise you, if you're a YouTuber or you are a fan of YouTubers and you want to know how to support them, this announcement is going to help a lot of smaller YouTube channels and maybe some big channels too. But very, very excited to announce the launch of what we're going to be doing. So hopefully some of these things, some of you might guess what we're doing. Some of you know what we're doing. Um, so yeah, just, just stay tuned. Next week's video is going to be pretty cool. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of crazy making this video. Everybody be safe out there. We'll see you on the road. You're tuned to the station that plays the best music in town.